Hi, it might have happened to you that when you wanted to create a bike animation, you animate every single part of the bike and then synchronize the legs of the character with the pedals. But let me tell you that this technique doesn't only give you the best results, but also is very time consuming and clumsy. Alright, in this quick tutorial, I'll teach you how to rig your bike instantly and create a pedaling animation without a bunch of keyframes. Don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment because I read every single one of them. And if you're interested in learning motion graphics and after effects fundamentally and step by step, definitely check out my Motion Hero Masterclass. Okay, let's start. First off, the chain wheel should be in a separate layer and its anchor point should be at the center. The cranks should also be in a separate layers as well as the pedals themselves. And the anchor point of the pedals should be at the center. I select the cranks and parent them to the chain wheel so that when the chain wheel rotates, the cranks move along with it. The next thing that I need to do is parenting this pedal to this crank and the other pedal to the other one. As you can see now, when I rotate the chain wheel, the pedals move alongside it. However, it's not quite right. Right here, it should be horizontal, not vertical. To fix that, I make the rotation of this layer visible. And I parent the rotation of the pedal to the rotation of the chain wheel, so that when the chain wheel rotates, the pedal would rotate. But now the angle of the rotation is wrong. To fix the angle of the rotation, I add a star minus 1 at the end of the expression, so the rotation would be reversed. And now as you can see, this pedal is correctly spinning and rotating. I have to do the same for this pedal. After rigging the pedals, I make the chain visible and I want the chain to move alongside the chain wheel. To do that, I open the chain layer. The first shape is for these dashes, and the other one is for this line. I open the second shape under stroke, and here I want to create the animation for this chain using the offset of the dash. I make the rotation of the chain wheel visible, and I parent the offset of the chain to the rotation of the chain wheel, so that when the chain wheel rotates, the offset would also move. The only problem is that it's moving the other way. To fix that, just like the pedals, I reverse its direction. Now, as you can see, it's rotating properly. Okay, let's animate the rotation of the chain wheel. I create a keyframe right here. I move over to frame 60 and create the second keyframe. I want it to rotate two rounds, and in the beginning it should be zero. Now as you can see the animation of the chain wheel is working fine except for the animation of the chain itself. It's in reverse and pretty slow. I come here and remove this minus 1 and enter 30 so the offset would move fast to the right. I limit the work area right here. Alright, once rigging the bike is done, it's time to synchronize the character with the bike. To do that, first I make the character visible. Let me make the controllers of the feet visible as well. At the beginning of the timeline, I place the right foot on the right pedal and the left foot on the left pedal. Then I select the right pedal, it's number 52. I need to parent the controller of the right foot to the right pedal which is layer 52. And I need to parent the controller of the left foot to the left pedal which is layer 58. Now upon moving the indicator, as you can see the feet move along with the pedals. And now I don't have to animate each foot individually. Let's check out the animation and see what it looks like so far. To animate the wheels as well, I just need to make the rotation visible. 
I have to animate the wheels individually. I mean it shouldn't be connected to the chain wheel, because sometimes the character doesn't pedal but the wheels are still rotating. So I create a keyframe at the start and a keyframe at frame 60 and set its rotation to 2 so the wheels would rotate to the right. Let's check it out. It's very good. Good luck and thanks for watching.